Shalom, shalom. Right, let me get this. This is Sirach 36 and 11. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. What did the Lord say? Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. What did the Most I say? Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. You see, we've seen the brothers together in truth and sincerity, man. Right? No malice. So, brother, what's your nationality? Where are you from? London. You're from London. Where's your dad from? You're born in captivity in Babylon. Alright, let me get uh, uh, Baruch, finish off on that, let me get Baruch 3 and 8. And inherit thou them, as from the beginning, right. O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. What do you want the Lord to do? Have mercy, mercy upon, upon the people, people that have thy name. name. Yeah. You want the Lord to have mercy on the people that's called by thy name. Right, so how do you find out about the Israelites? Yeah, how do you know you're Israelites? I don't know. Come up and say, Come no, Yashala, no? No, I say, yeah, You should have a Shia. So, how do you know about the Hebrew? I don't know the original name. Yeah. Research. Okay. Oh. So, who do you identify as? I identify as. I identify as the son of Moses. I am the son of Moses. Yeah. Because named Yahweh. No, yeah. Son's named Yahweh Shah. Pronunciation no matter. Yahweh Shah. Let me get the yeah. book of. Let me get the book chapter. said was right we are yet to stay in our captivity we're still in babylon come on where thou has scattered us where what where thou has scattered us so the most has scattered us in babylon right so hey brother we are the hebrew israelites we've got chosen people right so what, what are you having difficulty with let me get the book of no drop that let me get the drumming for me too that's where this is where this comes in now let me get where's your bible this is Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. What did the most I say? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people. And be a what? To be a peculiar people. Unto himself. Above all nations. Above all nations. Above all nations. Above, above all nations. nations. You know I said we're above all nations. Now let me get seven and six. This is Deuteronomy seven and six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord said the same thing. We're special people unto himself. Come on. Above all people. Above what? Above all people. Again, the Lord said we're above all people. But what, what did you learn from the power of Yahusha? What did I learn from what? What did you learn from the power of Yahusha? Who's Yahusha? You keep saying Yahusha. Where's the... Brother, let me get that poster. Uh, What's his Hebrew, Hebrew name? What's his Hebrew name? We're going to get. What's his Hebrew name? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Does that answer your question? We're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. It doesn't answer. That means we have a direct connection to the most high forever. Let me get a Ezekiel. Let me get Ezekiel chapter uh, two verse eight. Let me get the book of. Let me get the book of Ruth chapter four verse one. Mm -hmm. In the bloodline of the Israelite of Abraham, that means you're on top. Okay, you're let me get Romans chapter nine. In line. Well, let's do one thing at a time. Bro. This is 
the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. But ye are a chosen generation. But we are what? But ye are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A royal what? A royal priesthood. And holy nation. A what? A holy nation. We are holy people. Who's like us? Who's like us? Come on. A peculiar people. A what? A peculiar people. Being peculiar, we're special people. Come on. That ye should show thee forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. I can see clearly now. Brothers and sisters, come hear the word of God, brothers and sisters. And what's the word of God? What's the word of God? Where is the word of God? You see that? But anyway, brother, so you got the Hebrew there, Yahweh Shai. So what what's what's the what's the issue, brother? What's the issue? It's not issue. I've got a text to come here and I came here. Okay, cool. Let me get calling on my phone. Yeah. Let me get the book of Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Let me get straight to the point then. Numbers 15 and 37. You've got Ezekiel, hold that. Let me get Numbers 15 and, and, and 37. Alright, because we've got some commandments to keep. That we have to keep. Alright. Okay. It's the book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak, Speak unto, unto the, the children, children of Israel. That's us, right? And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So every brother and sister up here has got fringes on in the borders of their garments. This is the commandment you have to keep, brother. Right? Throughout their generations. We're still generating as a people. We're still having babies, right? So then we should still be wearing our fringes, no? Yeah. And that they put upon them, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, right. and that shall and it shall be unto you for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Remember what? And remember, remember all the commandments, the commandments of the Lord. Lord. Okay, so the fringes is a reminder. Not to eat no pork, no crab, no shrimp, no lobster. To love your brother as yourself. No, let me get Leviticus 9. So. Let me get um, Leviticus 21 and 5. We're going to get that, we're going to get that. I'm going to touch bases on something. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What did the Lord say? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. What did the Most High say? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're not meant to hate our brother. Who is our brother? Let me get Jeremiah 34 9. Brother and sister, come in the word of Two minutes. Out of our people saying we're black, we're Jamaican, we're African Caribbean. Come in the word of God, right? Before it's too late, before the bombs start dropping, before World War Three kicks off. That's right. right. Let me get Jeremiah. Um, no, Jeremiah 34 and 9. Right, to prove who your brother is, right? It's time, time for our people to wake up out of sleep, right? And the heathen can't take. Jer Jeremiah 34 and 9. This. That every man, you're right, you're right, you're right. that every man should let his manservant and every man his maidservant, being an Hebrew or an Hebrewess, being a Hebrew or a Hebrewess, don't let that go off your head. Come on, go free, that none should serve himself of them, right. to wit of a Jew his brother, to which of a what? Of a which Jew his, his brother. brother. Which of a what? Of, of a, a Jew his, his brother. brother. My brother is my fellow Jew. So the same Jew that the Jews should tell you not to call any man rabbi is the devil. The direct opposition to the Lord. So brother, what do you come of here to learn or to what do you come of here? Come on, come on, come on. So everything I'm saying is that you've got a rebuttal for. We're not dictating you, brother. We're, we're showing you got all no, your fringes on. So, so we're not meant to call no man master, no. no. Other than Yahweh Shai. No, no. We've got the Hebrew up there, brother. So what did you take from that? Your brother is a fellow Jew. I can't talk about my brother. So, the Jews in today are not in line with the let me get let me get they're Revelation two and nine. Let me get Revelation two and nine. Let me get Revelation two and nine. And say, so, young prince, we can't even get the scripture I want because we've got to deal with this first. Right? We're gonna give a couple more, and then that's it. I'm gonna deal with the people. No, you are, but I mean, I mean, the questions are going on, but you seem to know something, but then you ain't got your fringes on. But we're trying to deal with the people you don't know. 
Oh, all right, then. All right. All right. All right. You know, put brute form one as well. Pass over pressure. Let me get brute form one. This is brute four and one. And don't take it like I'm getting onto you. It's correction, brother. It's correct. That's all it is. Correction. I have to be taught as well. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. Lord, don't go away. It endures forever. Come on. All they that keep it shall come to life. This word is life, you know. Bread, water, honey. Let me get that in a minute. But such as leave it shall die. But such as what? But such as leave it shall die. If I don't have my fringes on, I'm gonna die. But such as leave it shall die. I can't even imagine coming out of my house without fringes, you know. Even if it's a vest. Even if I'm at work. Even if I tuck it in. I have to wear my fringes. I feel like my body will explode, you know. I've got to wear my fringes. Right? This has what? Seven feet of the year. Explain on that, brother. Explain on that. Your seven feet of the day. Right? We know that you got to keep the high holidays, brother. We know that. But I'm saying, what's that got to do with me saying you got to wear your fringes on? Oh. All right, all right, all right. Revelation 2 and 9. Revel Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. We're rich in spirit. And I know that. And I know that. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works. Tribulation and poverty, but thou are rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. People in Israel, they're saying they're Jews, but come on. But are not. They are the synagogue of Satan. Okay. Chief house of Satan. Let me get Revelation 3 and 9. But do Reload that, reload that. Revelation, Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, but do lie. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So when it's said, all said and done, they're going to come and worship before our feet. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 16, verse um, 19. Right, the people in Israel are going to come and worship before our feet, man. Jeremiah 16 and 19. Right. Say that again. Before we come, and to know that I have loved thee. And to what? And, and to know, know I have loved, loved, loved thee. And to know that I have loved thee, man. Read. This is Jeremiah 16 and 19. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee the, the gentiles, gentiles shall, shall come, come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited life what is the amlika is going to say surely our fathers have, have inherited life come on surely our fathers vanity and things wherein there is no reload the whole thing jeremiah 16 and 19 O oh lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Them putting on the clothing, pretending to be like that, there was no profit for them to do that. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Let me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. They are what? They, they are, are black unto the ground. ground. That's why they wear the all black, right? They, they're trying to match this prophecy. Come on. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. Because right, our people are mourning. Their people are not in mourning. They own all the banks. They own everything. We don't own anything. Our leaders are what? Language. Our leaders are feeble. Right? Jesse Jackson. Who, who else? Uh, TG Snakes. They're not teaching us Al Sharp. They're not teaching us nothing. Right? So that's why it says that's why it says that. One leader, one That's why it says that. But let me get back to my let me get back to my lesson, King, yeah? So let me get that. You are Ezekiel, yeah? He's been waiting for a minute to bring this out, you know. Ezekiel two and one. And he said unto me. Two and eight. Two and eight. But thou, son of man, hear what I say unto thee. Come on. But look, thou thou rebellious. Open thy mouth and eat that I give thee. 
God said, open our mouth and eat that I give thee this word, right? And when I looked, behold, a hand went, was sent me, sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was there. Roll of a book. Right, we read out the Holy Bible, come on. Was therein, and he <laughs> spread it before me, and, and it was written within and without. Come on. And there was written, Lamen there is, there is lamentation and mourning and woe. Lamentation and mourning and woe, bro. Now let me get Ezekiel chapter 3, you're going to carry on. Chapter 3. Sometimes it's bitter. When we're in this truth, it's bitter. There's some things we can't do. People stand away from us. Our families don't want to talk to us. It's bitter, right? <laughs> Chapter 3. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat, eat that. Thou findest, eat this roll. Eat this roll. It's continuing from chapter 2. Right, come on. And go speak unto the house of Israel. Hey, it's a sister and brother. We are the house of Israel. Let us share some scripture with you now. One minute, sister. We're happy for you, you know. The bus can wait, sister. <coughs> so I opened my mouth. Hey, brother, in the porch. Pull up, man. Come, come in the way. There's free parking down there. Ah, right, brother. So, right, verse two. So I opened my mouth, and he calls me that eat that roll. Verse three. And he said unto me, Sometimes, hey, listen, sweetness. We know we're the greatest people on the earth. We know the promises pertain to us. That's right. But it's also bitterness as well. Teach, it's uh, in the book of Revelation. There's bitterness right. and it's honey. There's sweetness, mourning. Lamentation, whoa. Are people going through hell, man? It's time for our people. It's high time for our people to wake up. Let me get uh, Romans 13 and 11. You'll always go through a lot until you come. That, that, that we agree on, brother. That we agree on. Brother, come in the word of God, brother. Two minutes. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that no, it is high. Time to wake out of sleep. Sister, it's high time for people to wake up now out of sleep. It's high time. What's your nationality, sister? My nationality. Yeah. Where's your father from? Where's your father from? My father and mother is from Jamaica. Jamaica. So now Jamaica. What does Jamaica mean? Jamaica. The land of wood and water. So we're not wood and water, are we? I see an Adidas tracksuit. I see Adidas trainers. We're not wood and water, are we? No. Surely more than that. Of course we are. Let me get the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 22. Bring it up. Their inward folk is that their houses 
shall continue forever. Come on. And their dwelling places to all generations. Come on. They call their lands after their own name. They call America. They, they call their lands after their own name. name. They call their lands after their own name. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beast that perish. Their, this their way is their folly. Yet their prosperity, prosperity approved their sayings to love. They're known for doing this. Their children have children have children. They keep renaming the place. You got a You got Sorry. Psalm 67 and 11. The Lord gets Sister, one. sister. Psalm 67 and 11. The Lord gets one. Psalm 67 and 11. The Lord gets one. Psalm 67 and 11. The Lord gets one. Psalm 67 and 11. The Lord, Lord gave, gave the, the word. word. Great was the, the Lord word. Great was the company. Psalm 68 11. I'm thinking that it does not 67, it's 68. Among the heathens. Call make us a byword among the heathens. A byword is anything other than a God given nationality, sister. Right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. What the Lord said? And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Call myself black. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Unto my chosen. Unto who? Unto, Unto my, my chosen. chosen. No, I've got to match that now. Let me get first Chronicles chapter 16, verse 13. The Lord said, Unto my chosen. Who's the Lord's chosen? Now hold that up. Yeah, that's a good question. Who's the Lord's chosen? Who's the Lord's chosen? First Chronicles. Chapter 16 and 13. Oh, ye seed of Israel, his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. Ye children of who? Ye children of Jacob, his chosen ones. That's right. In the matrix, you see Leo. Did you know that Neo was really meant to be uh, Will Smith? But then they got um, Keanu Reeves. And a so called black woman wrote that, you know. Right, right. Matrix and a uh, uh, terminal. But guess what? They didn't want to pay our money. So we're always getting through lamentations of roles and it says in the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 2 and chapter 3, right? This word is sweet but it's also bitter, right? right? So now I want that in Revelation. And then we're going to get to the slave ship. I'm going to prove to you that we went through slavery and the prophecy of disobeying the long side work. Come on, let's hold this precept in. This is Revelation 10 and 9. Come on. And I went unto the angel and right. said unto him, right. Give me the little book. Give me what? Give, give me, me the, the little, little book. book. I can't hear, brothers. Give, give me, me the, the little, little book. book. The Lord said, give me the little book. What little book was that, sister? The Bible, sister. Give me the little book. Come on. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. What did he say? Yeah. Take, take it and eat it up. up. So we're eating up this word. This word is food, you know. 
Sometimes when you're fasting, you're reading your scriptures. You don't feel hungry no more. Right, come on. And it shall make thy belly bitter. It shall make thy belly bitter. No birthdays. Hey, no pagan days. Hey, brother Nathan, get that, get that uh, um, thing about the pagan days. Right. Reload the whole thing. Revelation 10 and verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Come on. Give me the little book. Come on. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. Right. And it shall make thy belly bitter. Come on. But it shall be in thy mouth, mouth sweet, sweet as, as honey. honey. So what do you think the sweetest honey bit is talking about, sister? That, and, that, and that we're the chosen. But it's bitter now because your family's going to forsake you. I'm not chatting to my girl. She didn't even celebrate birthdays. Right? We don't do any of these things. I think she don't want to come to a, a nanny's um, Thanksgiving, right? Or anniversary or Christmas or any of these uh, uh, pagan days. So it's going to be bitter because your family's going to forsake you. But guess what? The Most High is not going to forsake you. Never, right? And I took the little book out of the angel's hands and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it. What do you think happened as soon as he ate it? What do you think happened in his belly? My belly was bitter. My belly was what? My, my belly, belly was bitter. My belly was what? My, my belly, belly was bitter. Business, sister. You know, we've got to endure to the end. You can't expect anything to happen overnight. You've got to wait for the Yahweh to come back. Let me get the book of Deuteronomy 28 68. We're going to get straight to the point now. So I'm going to show you that our people went to slavery because they didn't listen. Let me get 15 first. Come on, come on. This is Hebrews 10 verse 7. Then, I, then said I, no, sister, I come to do thy will. Sit down. the whole thing. This is Hebrews 10 verse 7. Then said I, no, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh. Phone, right? Hey, so the whole word we go from the New Testament to the Old Testament to the Apocrypha. The whole book, right? We don't uh, uh, pick and choose. We're not Old Testament only, right? What do you think hearken means, sister? The Lord said, if you don't hearken, if you don't hear, yeah. Look all the day long, right? So your eyes 
So look all the day long for our children. Where's my baby? You never see them again. That happened to us as a prophecy sister. Right, so let me get this lady. No, excuse me. Right. It's not happening now. So what are we doing in Egypt, sister? Under the hands of Pharaoh. Suffering. Were we not in slavery? So the Lord said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. So what would Egypt mean then? If you were slaves in Egypt, what would Egypt mean? If the Lord said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt as a punishment. Back into slavery. Go on. How do you get to America? With yeah. ships. So does this prophecy not match our sister? The Lord said, we're going to go into slavery with ships. So that happens to us, no? How do we get into Jamaica then? Sold unto your friend. Unto your enemy. Unto your enemy. Unto your enemy. Unto your manager. Unto your enemy. Sold unto our enemies. So who's our enemy? Who put us in slavery? As position and take out someone's love and go sell it on the black Yeah, the Amites. We got the Arabs. But who sold us into the most recent slavery? Who put us all into slave ship? Who do it again? I can't hear you, sister. The government. How did it look, sister? What's the nationality? What people were selling us? Don't be scared, sister. So when we got to Jamaica, what people sold us? In Jamaica, all people were selling us. Someone get the... Where's the auction? Where's the auction? Where's the auction? What people is that selling us, sister? And that's what yeah. we see manifest, right? So the Lord said they're our enemies, right? Manifest. <laughs> hey, hey, the Lord said that's our enemy, right? So finish up. We're gonna get the priest. Finish up. Both men and both women, right? and no man shall buy you. Slave man, slave woman. No man's gonna redeem you. Who do we have? Martin Luther King, Mark Emmett, Marcus Garvey. Not one of them can redeem us. Mashaki, how was shall he be ignorant for Jesus Christ is coming back to the demons? Now let me get the priest. Amos chapter 1 and verse 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. What did the Lord say? I will not turn away the punishment thereof. For all the evil they've done, the Lord's not going to turn away their punishment. They're going to have to pay for it. Right, come on. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword right. and cast off all pity right. and his anger did tear perpetually. Yeah, that anger against us. Selling babies, women, cutting babies out of stomach, you name it. And he kept his wrath forever. He kept his anger forever. Just the other day, a 12 year old boy knocked on the wrong door and he shot him in the head. He's still angry with us, even Emmett Till. Right? They still shoot up his graveyard. And all praise to the most high. And hey, the lady died of cancer, man. Right, right, all praise right, to the most high. Right. And Jerry Springer as well. Right. <laughs> this is Jeremiah 13, verse 24. Therefore, I will scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the What did the Lord say? Therefore, Therefore I, will I will scatter them, them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness. And we are scattered, sister. We are scattered on the four points of the earth. Verse 25, this is thy lot, the portion of thy measures from me, says the Lord, because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood. Right. And that's what we've done, we forgot the most time we trust in falsehood, idolatry, crosses around our necks. And let me get her back at chapter 3, verse 18. But my uh, people have changed their glory. Sister, we don't even know where the Hebrew is. Like. We're still calling ourselves black. We don't even know we've got chosen people. We don't, we don't we think of people in, in Israel, the Jews. Some pastors actually send money to them and say, we're going to bless them because then the Lord's going to bless us, not knowing that we are the real Jews. Right? Hey, hey, excuse want, me, but I'm never born in Jews. For that which though. doth not profit. For that what? For that which doth for not profit. profit. That which does not profit. Now let's see what it says yeah. in the back, back of chapter 2, verse 18. Habakkuk 2 and 18 What profited the graven image 
that the maker thereof had graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of life. And a teacher of what? And, and a, a teacher, teacher of, of life. life. Why is the cross? A, a teacher, teacher of, of life. life. All these other <laughs> All these other false idols are teaching lies. That the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. To make what? To, to make, make dumb, dumb idols. idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, awake, to the dumb stone. To the what? To, to the, the dumb, dumb stone. stone. To the what? To, to the, the dumb, dumb stone. stone. Islam encircling a stone. To the dumb stone. To the dumb stone, arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. Idols, false gods. That's the first commandment. Thou hast no other god before me. None. No crystals. No soup No zodiac stands. None of these. None of these things. You can't sage. Trying to tell the future. None of these things you can't be into, sister. Or the curse of what Let me get Judas at the five twenty. But the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before Him. Unto you it shall be what? They, they shall be an abomination, abomination unto you. Now, what doesn't happen to scales? 
What doesn't have pins and scales? What doesn't have pins and scales? In the waters. No pin. What else? Cross nations. Cross nations. So he basically said all of it, feet. He said all of it, So basically, crab, shrimp, lobster, none of these things have all praises to the most. And then bottom feeding. Let's see what our formation is. Abominable things I hate. So abomination is something the Lord hates. And when we eat pork, the Lord hates that. Right? When we eat um, crab, shrimp, lobster, the Lord hates that. We can't do any of these things. Let me get the book of um, let me get the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4, and let me get the book of Numbers 15 and 38. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 29. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even that soul shall commit them, shall be cut off from among their people. And we don't want to be cut off from among people. We don't want to be cut off. We want the Lord to come back and save us, no? Right. How long is suffering paying bills just about getting by from week to week? It's time for people to wake up, right? Come away from the enemy and love one another. Right? The Lord said gather together, right? Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's the children of Israel? Let me get praise to them. Verse 37. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them free. Oh, sister, we all got something up here. What do you think we've got in common? All these, all these mighty brothers and sisters, what have we got in our garments? What can you see on our garments that we've got in common? Say so again? On, but guess what? We got one thing in common. We all got a ribbon of blue. We represent royalty, right? Save this for the last for the women. So the law said the women, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now you know better what you gotta do. The most I winked at it. Come on. But thou commandest all men everywhere to repent. And women everywhere to repent. Mm -hmm. So it's time for you to repent, sister. You know you're not meant to wear pants. So why are you wearing pants, sister? Why I'm wearing pants. The reason why I'm wearing pants Just the dress and skirt, it makes me feel naked and 
And his commandments are, are not, not grievous. grievous. Commandments are not hard, you know, sister. No commandments are not They're hard. They're not hard. You can take off your pants, pray off the roof, sell it on vintage, whatever you want to do, yes, then just don't wear it anymore. Right. No it's not for us. This is love. I this is love. Where you're 
coming from, but as I say, yeah. my Heavenly Father say I know everything. Yeah. Like he knows. Huh? He knows. He knows. And he knows my heart. So, as I say, right. this is the book home. of Zephaniah, yeah. chapter 1 and verse 8. Yeah, and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. See, we have to get the judgment now, you know? That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all that are such clothed with strange, strange apparel. All that are what? That all, all that, that are such clothed with strange apparel. It's a man wearing a dress? In in all that are such clothed in strange apparel. It's a woman wearing pants? In, in all, all that are such clothed in strange apparel. God says going to punish them. Hold your princess. Hold your princess. This is Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. God made us a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. I'm going to give you warning, you know, sister. I'm going to warn you to do what one. When I say unto the wicked, Thou, thou shalt, shalt surely die, die. Come on. and thou givest him not warning, right. nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way right. to save Says his life. life. To save your life, sister. You're not meant to be wearing pants. You even can get a yeast infection from that as well, sister. Damn it, to breathe. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, right. but his blood will I require at thine hand. Right. So, hey, guess what? If we don't warn you, the blood's on our hands. We don't want the blood on our hands. Any brother up here want the blood on our hands? Uh -huh. We don't want the blood on our hands. So we're warning you, sister. I I Yet, hear. if thou warned the wicked, and he turned not from his wickedness. That's what, if we warn you, you don't want to turn from the wickedness, what's going to happen? No, from his wicked way. He shall die in his iniquity, but thou like hast delivered thy soul. Are they, um, our people? If you ask the, if you ask the teacher, he will ask him. But he's teaching. We have order up here. Again, when a righteous man do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die, because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness which he have done shall not be remembered but his blood will I require at thine hand we don't want the blood on our hands come on nevertheless if thou, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not and he do not sin he shall surely live because he is warned also thou hast delivered thy soul that's what we want our soul to be delivered that's right that's what we want let's hear about your mind now your heart The heart is deceitful about all things which desperately, desperately wicked. Your heart, your mind doing seven different things like a watchman. Desperately wicked. Yep, yep. Just to please your soul, you're going to justify wickedness. Justify uh, uh, eating pork. Justify doing abomination. Justify hating your brother, man. You have to forgive your brother. Right? Thoughts at once. And so that's that's why you got to repent, sister. I the Lord set the heart. I try the breeze in ways, even to get every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So what to the most I say? The most I will you repent, sister. Come back to the most I. But let me get. Acts chapter 20 verse 26. Let me get Acts chapter 3 verse 19. It says, Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. The Lord said, Repent and be converted. If I convert a dollar into a pound, what am I doing? If I convert a dollar into a pound, what am I doing? I'm changing it. So we need to change this stuff. We have to change it. So we have to go out of this. We have to stop getting tattoos if any brother's got tattoos. We have to stop getting it. That's, That's right. Question. That your sins may be blotted out mm -hmm. when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Hey, listen, the Lord's going to wipe out this place, you know? going to wipe the floor of this place, you know? right. fire, nuclear missiles, wipe the floor. There'll be no mercy because everyone had a chance to repent. They didn't want to repent. Ultimately, it's up to the most high. So let me get Acts chapter 20, verse 26.
system. Like, we've warned you to the bloods of our hands now. I just have to get that preset for Paul in the New Testament. Right? We're putting it up on the blood. Right, there's more on that, there's more on that. Verse 21! Same way you warn your daughters and if they don't want to listen, there's nothing you can do after that, innit? Sister, we haven't stopped. The Bible's got more precepts for you. We haven't stopped. Go on. Take heed. Take heed. Just listen, sister. Go home and do some research. Even Google when women started wearing pants. Do some research for yourself. Come on. That's right! Not to like news, not to be seen. We come out here to feed the people. Happy for you, you know, sister. We woke up this morning just to teach you and many more. Most I will it. Which he has purchased with his own blood. That's right. We can never be slaves to the Lord bought us with his own blood. This is only a, 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 a punishment because we broke the commandments, right? Son of God is gonna come quickly, sister. We have to take heed. Look at these young sisters. You have to let them know, sister. Put some clothes on. Huh? <laughs> Revelations 22, verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life mm -hmm. and may enter in the in through the gate of into the city. And that's what we want for you, sister, to enter into the gates of the city, not just for us. Right? Hey, the brother's got priests. I'm trying to close out. You know, but go on, go on. This is Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully after, after that we have received blessing. the knowledge yeah. of the truth, there remaineth no, no more, more sacrifice, sacrifice for sin. sin. Now, you can't sin willfully, but there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. You come judgment after that. Right? right? I'm going to get my last close of priests. I know I keep hearing priests and priests and priests. I'm trying to close out and let the next brother come up. Spiritually, it's called Sodom and Egypt. Which physically? Which physically? Which spirit? Spiritually. 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 Bring it out. It's called. Please, Father Bishop. Let me get 
Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. Said, Moses sprinkled the blood on the people, the blood of the covenant. We made a covenant with the Most High. We can't break that covenant. We are forefathers. Right? Oh. So the Lord said, I'm going to punish you in your third and punish you in your third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Oh. Our forefathers. Recycling thing. We've been there before. What do you think when you talk to someone, you say, where I know you from? It's all spiritual. Revelation 22 and 11. Having the glory of God. In Back here, Revelation 22 and 11. 22 and 11. Oh, 20. Revelation. You're on it. It's just there. Let him be unjust still. No, said Lisa is unjust. Leave him. We're in the last days. We ain't got time for you begging no one to come to camp. To do, put your fringes on. Right to wear a head wrap. Put a dress on. We ain't got time for that. And he, which is filthy. Let, let him be filthy, filthy still. still. Them that are filthy, leave them. Let them be filthy still. Don't want to keep the Sabbath day holy. Leave them. Let them be filthy still. Come on. And he that is righteous. What? He that is righteous, yeah, be around him, let him be righteous still, right? And he that is holy and let's separate, separate. Let, let him be, be holy separate. and separate. You see, you see that? You see that? He that is, because holy means yeah. separate. That's right. right. Hey. <laughs> reload, reload it. Hey, that's according to Leviticus 20, 20 and 26. Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust still. Let him be unjust still. Come on. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Hey, he that is filthy, leave him, let him be filthy. Don't run down no one, sister. Most I will repent, sister. Repent. Mm. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Come on. Let him be righteous still. Let him be righteous still. Let him be holy and separate. Let him be holy and separate still. Form Yashirala, all praise to the Most My last precept, my last precept. My last precept. Shabbat, hey, it's a Shabbat today, sister, from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. But the next brother is going to edify you in ways I can never could. And stay for a while, I sister. Stay for five mind. more minutes, sister. Five more minutes. Take a flyer, then, sister. Yeah, I'll take a flyer. Yeah, flyer. Yeah, flyer. Yeah, flyer. Yeah, flyer. Yeah, flyer. Job 1 and 20. Then Job arose and draped his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and so here, Take all the channels as well. Right? It's not just one channel. Take all of them. You know the whole thing. This is Job 1 and 20. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked came I out of the mother's womb. And guess what? We all came naked out of the mother's womb. Come on. And naked shall I return thither. Naked we will return there. The Lord gave and the Lord have taken take away. away. And the Lord can give and the Lord also can take away. But guess what? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be who? Blessed, Blessed be, be the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Bashim Hamashiach. That's right. In all this job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. That was a Kumashrala. 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 Kumashrala.